All right, you guys, just got a new tool. Let's see if this works. Diagnosing my vehicle. Let's see. Press OK. Damn, it's not like a video again. Okay. Steering angle reset. This sucks, okay. Where's that? It's close. W221. I already know I got a fall code, so let's see. Man, oh, this thing sucks. Okay, let me see. I'll hey be guys, back. how you doing today? So I ended up scanning the vehicle for the codes and these were the two codes that I got, right? Also, I'm typing this up on Google Docs. I'm making sure I annotate everything before I work on my vehicle. I already ended up ordering the parts and I'm gonna be speaking about the parts in this video. All right, so I scanned the vehicle and basically the vehicle uh, scanned two codes. It popped up with code 5283. And that code said recovery time during filling of central reservoir is too long. And then they had a DTC status. It's going to be stored. The other code, it had a code two. No, as I was a code 5260. That's going to be check component A9 slash 1Y1 aromatic pressure release valve dtc status stored all right so i ended up doing a little bit of research on them on the stored codes and basically code 5283 means that i need to replace the aromatic compressor if the new air compressor is not defective it should it should solve the problem but if the new air compressor does not fix the problem then i will buy the oem compressor and basically it is what it is right so it has to hold enough pressure inside of the system in order for it to keep the air ride suspension at level right um, it's either a leak or whatnot but nine times out of ten when i looked up the 5283 it just means hey you need a new compressor the compressor is bad second i already know that the compressor is bad i ended up ordering a china manufactured compressor 
and off the bat it goes so i already know it's bad i'm gonna replace it with the one that they sent me out already i bought from amazon and i'm gonna see if it's any good if it's good then you know the code should go away if it's bad then of course i'm gonna buy the oem aromatic uh compressor it's gonna be like three something two something i forget how much it is but you know when we cross that bridge we're gonna cross that bridge all right second with the, we got another code right give me a second okay we got the code five two six zero that means that there is one of two issues issue one the compressor is bad on the pressure release valve what is a pressure release valve let's go to it so we're gonna have what is it what is it pressure relief valve bravo so that's gonna be b so that's gonna be right where the connector is you see the mouse right where the connector is all right i'm gonna zoom out all right so that just uh let me see compressor is bad all right so it is what it is that little piece is bad all right, then we got a second issue. It's gonna be one of two things. Issue number two is that there's actually a short circuit in the wires, right? And the reason I've come to think, hey, it's a short circuit in the wires is because I ended up going and finding out, you know, more information about this. And some guy had the same issue, right? So he said, um, this is what the guy said exactly. I'm gonna read it from the bottom. Based on looking up the part numbers it looks like it was two wire connectors for the pressure release valve i have no idea where the valve is connected or located but it almost has to be near the compressor right maybe this information maybe this information would help someone else in the distant future if your suspension appears to be stuck in the up position find that release valve and that's going to be from a member uh named zvert member of mercedesbenzworld.com and the thread I already listed it below. But of course, when I post this video, I'm gonna also list up this information and where I got this picture. Now, time to go to the picture. So he ended up giving up, right? And that's okay. Sometimes we don't know how to do the job. So we put out the information out there so other people don't have to go through the headache and have to spend $302.95 when the parts alone just cost $32.95, right? So it is what it is. Let's see what the technician wrote. The technician wrote, customer states suspension malfunction warning is on. Please check and advise. Verify customer complaint. So that means that they're like, all right, cool. Yeah, this is fucking up. So they connected the battery charger and the SDS and found the code uh, 5260. That's going to be check component A, uh, A9 slash 1Y1, aromatic pressure uh, release valve. So they inspected the component and found that the wiring going to the valve was corroded. Repair wiring going to the valve after repair, the code went to the store and tested okay. So I'm guessing that they ended up clearing the code and everything, right? So the things that they bought, right? This is going to be the, um, the what do you call it? The part numbers right so they bought one of the receptacle housing they bought two of cable harnesses and two of cable connectors what what the hell those things are i don't know i ended up ordering them and whenever i get them you know i'll show it to you guys i remember one of the um the connectors i forget which one it is um they stopped making it so it is what it is i got the things that you know um, what do you call it? I got the part numbers that um that I could find. Okay, let me show you the part numbers that I could find. All right, let me go up. Um, wheel hub, that's for the wheel hub. I need to replace that. Don't worry about it. Cable connector. All right, that's the part I got. I got two of those, and I got a receptacle housing. So whichever one's not listed down below. Oh, whichever one's not listed up here that's supposed to be listed down below, I couldn't get, right? So I was only able to get two of the things from the, the thing that the technician wrote. All right. So, so far, so good. This is the what I'm dealing with. Um, there's no real issues. So thank God going into these forums, 
you know, you're able to find out things like where the pressure relief residue, whatever valve is at, it's going to be Bravo. Um, it's going to be right there. All right. Um, let me see what else. So thank goodness to this member at bensworld.com, Conestinger. I don't know how to pronounce it. Thank you very much for the pictures. All right. Also, I ended up uh, getting more information. It's, it's going to be on the same thread. You had another person uh, talking about this. He says, hey, I ran into the same issue and the code front wouldn't fill. Rear would sag after some time. Cold weather wasn't helping as well as the same fall code. I checked all the wiring volts, which per were perfect. Replaced both for front aromatic struts. I replaced the compressor and the valve block. Still no luck. What I ended up doing to fix the issue is pretty stupid. I cut off the electrical plug that goes into the compressor or valve block. Cannot remember which one, but I remember I did have two wires and that it was D-shaped, I believe. I soldered them on directly to the compressor, cleared all the codes, and voila, it worked for me. There must have been just a bad connection or something. You, you should try it and let us know. I wish someone would have told me this before spending all the money on everything I didn't need. Just 10 minutes to cut the wire and solder it. LOL. Ha 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 ha. Even if the plug and wires look perfect and give out the right volt, I still say give it a shot because that's what I had to do and deal with. It was a 2005 E500 and that's going to come from Lebanese Mercedes and he's going to be in the same thread Connor Stinger was. Um, so uh, one more thing to add, you know, if you don't have the right equipment or you don't know what you're doing, um, it's okay that you're spending money on um, parts that you're like, oh my goodness, I think it's this, I think it's that. It's okay. Um, don't let anybody put you down saying, oh dude, you're just uh, shooting, putting parts in blindly. Yeah, you know what, dude? Fuck you, dude. You know, I don't have the fucking money to go to a dealer or I do have the money, but at the same time, I'm not trying to fucking spend a lot of money and, you know, the labor cost is, is astronomical. So don't let anybody tell you guys, oh, dude, you're spending money blindly. Nah, bro, I'm trying to fix my vehicle. And learning how to fix your vehicle is the most important part because once you learn how to do it, then nobody could tell you things like, oh, dude, oh, you need to do this. No, no, the fuck I don't, man. I know what I'm doing. I'm going through the steps. I'm having the experience compared to a, a what is it, a keyboard warrior that's just talking shit, right? So, hey, you guys, um, I'm going to... Whenever I get the parts and everything, I'm going to show the video on how to do it. And I'm going to make sure I keep you guys posted. Um, so in the meantime, uh, I just, you know, I just need to get this done. All right. Um, let me see. Anything new? Nothing new at all. So, yeah. All right, you guys. I wish you guys the best. And I'm going to be uploading this video soon. And I don't know what I'm going to title it, but it is what it is. All right, you guys, have a good one. All right, one last thing, everybody. So I'm going to end up putting the link below on the scanner tool that I got for the Mercedes. Um, you know, you see me struggle through it on the first part, and it is what it is. That's okay. But the point is, uh, I was just talking about earlier about, oh, you know, spending money blindly. Hey, man, you need the right tool. So if you're going to get the right tools or you want to make sure that, hey, I'm not trying to get ripped off, make sure you buy this um, scan tool. It's helped me and it's helping me with this problem. I hope it fixes the issue. If it doesn't fix the issue, then it is what it is. But at least I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to give my information out there because it is very difficult to find out information like this, especially on YouTube when nobody posts things up. All right, you guys. All right, so I'm going to post up the link below on all the parts. Also, I'm going to post up Mercedes-Benz Star Parts. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm not associated with them. But that's where I buy all my parts from. Um, second, the Amazon link to the scan tool. I'm not affiliated with Amazon. I get no money from it, but it's what you need to buy, right? That's what I need to buy. A normal OBD scan tool is not going to help it, right? So that's the second thing. And yeah, all right, you guys, I wish you the best again. Have a good one.